Hello and welcome back. Today is another day of my 28 day kiss challenge. The idea here is that I spend 28 days knocking things off my short list. The, the little things, the things that are so easy to ignore because they might only take five minutes to do, but I don't do them. And I think a lot of us do that. It's so easy to ignore the small things because hey, you'll get round, I'll get round to those. Oh yes, I'll do that when I get a minute. It's only gonna take a minute. But the minutes don't quite ever get allocated to them. If you're new to my channel, I'm Deirdre, and I'd love you to subscribe and share and give me a thumbs up if you like this video or if you do this sort of thing yourself. Get a long list of those little jobs that never quite come to the top of the priority list. The idea for this came from Sophia over at My Great Challenge and she's invited other people to join her along the way, which is a great idea. I've just done a lot of cleaning. Uh, I spent a month doing zone cleaning and you can find that up here. But on the other hand, that doesn't get rid of all those little bitty jobs. So for me, my priority this month is to get through that list, or 28 of them anyway, and just get them done. It's a um, really hot, sticky, it's like a tropical day here. I may as well be in Singapore. It's very grey. We're going to have a thunderstorm later. It's incredibly humid. And I'm just going to do this one thing that I've been meaning to do for ages. And it's sand back my wooden chopping blocks that I have sitting on the kitchen bench and then wax them. Now I use my own uh, wax paste that I make from pure beeswax. And these boards get a lot of work. I don't chop meat on them, but I chop vegetables and things like that. I have a meat one as well, and that's a separate um, that's a separate board, but you know for normal things plus it just protects the the bench top and I like the look of the wood I've had these these came from Ikea of course, and I've had them now for Must be going on 10 years, so they are a really tough product So about twice a year I give them a really good sand back and then give them a good coating of the wax And they just keep on being in really nice condition so I'm going to take you out, I'm on the balcony to do this because sanding is not something you want to do on the inside of your apartment or your house. So I've set up my little work table out here, it's a foldable little work table and I've used on one side these little blocks that you can reach it against and on the other I just put some uh, clamps just to hold it steady so that I can work across it and sand it. Now the most important thing when you're sanding is to avoid sand with the grey or the timber. Now this obviously gets chopped up and scratched anyway, but it's just a good habit. And apart from that, I could be doing it with, with a sander, but it's noisy and it's a nice day and it's, why would I do that when it's just such a small job? out to a slightly finer sandpaper. That one was pretty gritty which just took off the worst of the top and now this is just a smoothing out process. And this is the wax that I make and I'll talk to you a little bit about that in a minute. I'll just put it on. feels beautiful, it's silky soft again. So that's the finished board, looking quite dark. And yes, you know, there are still marks on it. Of course there are. Look, you know, it's been used for 10 years, but that's not bad, is it? It's in pretty good condition for 10 years of hard, hard daily use. Let me show you against the one, the other one I have, that I haven't sanded and conditioned. And you can see the difference. Look at that. And the feel of this is beautiful, and this feels dry and scratchy, and this feels smooth and really silky. And I will do the other one, I just won't do it actually at the moment because it is incredibly humid up there and it's about to have a thunderstorm. But it is worth looking after your kitchen cutting boards. There it is. 
all smart again, looking very nice. Well, I'm glad to be back inside and I've got the aircon on, so I'm sorry if it's noisy, but it is so humid. It's warm, it's about 30, but it's mainly that it's incredibly humid. Okay, let me tell you about the polish I use. This is my wax paste that I use. Oh, it smells like heaven. It's absolutely pure. I just love it. And it's made from, the, the ratio that I use is four parts of this particular mineral oil, which is the IKEA one and Guide, scared? I have no idea how to pronounce that. I'm very sorry. And it comes from IKEA and it's for renovating the chopping boards. Now the other part, the other one part, is this. And that is pure beeswax that I bought from the local, local apiarist up at the market. I bought it as a big block and I melted it down, skimmed it, strained it, skimmed it, strained it, did it about three times. And so that, I could use that for cosmetics if I wanted to. It's pure beeswax. It's absolutely beautiful. So when I want to make some of my paste, I melt down this in a double boiler. I will just sit that in a basin above uh, a pot of water and just let it slowly melt. And when it's melted, I will measure out enough to be the one part that I need. And then I'll take it off the heat, turn off the, bo the burner, of course, and add my um, mineral oil and at that point I'll just stir it all together and it becomes this lovely white soft yummy smelling paste that is good for all wood you know the things that I use in the kitchen I use this on wooden furniture um, and it just buffs down beautifully I could use instead of the mineral oil I could use linseed oil you know, which just also makes a beautiful furniture wa um, wax. But I really, I like this and uh, I have used linseed oil in the past. It reminds me of cricket bats. We used to oil cricket bats with them. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is my beautiful paste and I've been using it on everything wooden for as long as I've been making it, several years. So it was only one job for me today and I'm going to go and I'll actually probably do the other one as long as the thunderstorm stays away. I'll be back tomorrow with another job that I've been putting off, maybe two, it depends what I can organise. And I hope that if you've enjoyed this or you'd like to see some more that you'll subscribe, please give me a thumbs up and ring that little bell so that you can be notified when I do put up a video. I hope that whatever you're doing today, you're having a lovely time and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.